This is a video on how to make your own spears. Big spears, little spears, bamboo style spears, even pillums. Uh, they're tough, they stick amazingly well to your figures, no more snapping off, no more stabbing yourself, and best of all, they're pretty much free. Okay, so these are the sort of things you normally get. These are the kind of spears that come with your figures. So I always think, look, this never looked right, really. They're too kind of thick. It's a soft metal, so they bend, buckle. And you've got the slightly better one. These kind of uh, harder metal ones with that nasty sharp thing. And the problem is they're so rigid, these. It actually makes the figure a bit brittle, especially if you use a plastic figure or something like that, and they tend to ping off, as you know. A substitute I've used for a long time is floristry wire, which, to be honest, never looks great. And again, it's got the bending issue without returning. You can get different gauges and a thicker one. But the best of all for thick spears is one of these. And this really was free because, as you can see from the state of it, it was about to be thrown out. And then for your javelins and your thinner spears, you're going to need one of these. It isn't quite free. This actually cost me four ninety nine, And I reckon I've done a bit of a count up. And they are hundreds and hundreds of spears, which means they're not even a penny each. And the great thing is, it's this flexibility, so they don't snap. I mean, you can buckle them if you really try hard. But generally, they just return back to their position. And so you put a lid on it, or you drop them or something, they don't tend to snap. So clearly, for the, the pikes, uh, this kind of sarissas, you're going to be using the thicker one. And similarly for these guys, oops, excuse me, see me put around the corner, see, they are actually bendy, or well, they look rigid. And then for the smaller spears, you know, all sorts of types, that's these guys, again, same sort of thing. Well, these, are, again, these are special mention, these are for West Wind figures, I think they're excellent. It's the ideal for those, because one of the problems I have, oh yeah, the other spears I should have mentioned, that you often get with your figures and this kind of plastic thing which i'm sure you're all aware of and to me they're so thick and you have to make them thick to stop the, the plastic snapping but if you look at that guy's hand there i mean it's like he's trying to check it through a tree trunk and they never look right to me and so even with the plastic figures and i'll show some examples i tend to chop out the plastic one now drill a little hole and add these spears which i'll show you how to do now the other thing which I'll come on to later, is then bamboo effects. Sorry, a bit longer. Actually, you can feel the, the texture on there. And even with a bit of clever play, you can make your own helums. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and let's get on with how you actually do this. Okay, so we're going to start off with the thicker one. And this, from the brush, by the way, just cut it off. They cut very easy. Very strong this way, fairly strong that way, but they snap very easily. Okay, so all you gotta do, get a squeezer or pincers. I use one of these things, which is great. Just choose the end you want another spear on and just give it a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so you know you've got your flat spear. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Okay, and then I just get a regular scissors. You could use a craft knife. Uh, and then just decide how steep you want the, the, the blade. You know, a long, thin point, or you want a little sharp one. Okay, it's as easy as that. Oh, you can see there's a little bit of a corner sticking out there. Oh. So what you could do, if you're really fussy, you could trim it with a knife, just to, you know, shape it. As much fiddling about as you want to do, really. I don't tend to do a lot. One little thing I do looks quite nice, you'll hardly notice it at this point, is just carefully, so if you squeeze too hard, obviously you'll cut the spearhead off just kind of go around and you make a tiny groove it only has to be tiny because you don't want to weaken it yep that's right and that tiny groove you can hardly see it but when you paint that up it will just um make the kind of spear head effect if i can find an example sitting around next to me somewhere come on come on, come on. here we go these are actually the smaller spears you can see the kind of get the idea here 
where you've got a spear and a spear head just to show where it's kind of attached to the figure all right it's that easy honestly it's that easy and the same thing with the smaller ones you just chop them off to the length you want give them a squeeze 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 however long you want your blade get your scissors and snip snip <laughs> amazing a little point that's great i think they're spot on i'm just lucky but lucky they are the exactly the right scale for the figures so uh, up a little groove in it which you probably can't see on there but you'll see it when it painted so that's it for those couldn't be easier now playing around with this i try to cut the other effects and this one i'm particularly pleased with and here you can see it's a kind of bamboo and if you actually feel it which you can't do obviously on the, that's actually got a kind of uh, bulges like you expect to see on this kind of shield obviously i've exaggerated it with a little bit of a paint effect on there but this again so what i've done here is start off the same way so there's that spear i just prepared and i get the squeezer and instead of going exactly at right angles just angle it a bit so it's going to cut in slightly and then let's turn the angle so you can see what i'm doing and then plunk just give a little squeeze and i twist as i go otherwise you end up with all the things on the same part just a little squeeze you get the hang of it no point in me telling you i diff hard but just try and get the edges of the squeezer rather than the flat part of the squeezer it might get slightly bent there you go and let's try and get that in focus if we can so now you've got like a nice knobbly sort of spear effect and that's it you can straighten it out how easy is that and these look cracking and as i was saying before the great feature is that is these just love super glue this and the metal just stick together brilliantly and this one i painted these years ago and i just added these because javelins just kept coming off all the time and this is going to be um a banner so that's going to be a nice big sort of uh, islamic type banner there there you go like i said it's more or less free isn't it great and also the other one you do you know you clatter the lid closed on your box or something it doesn't matter get a bit of a twang or something or if you drop them whatever right now the last one which is rather tricky oh yeah that's the ones i could have shown you with a spear effect some carthaginians i'm doing and this is actually uh a friend there and you can see that a little groove which you couldn't really notice it just gives it that steel head effect there's those little touches that make the difference yeah but like paint your own shield so using transfers but that's another discussion right uh it's obviously he looks like that okay right and the other little effect my son actually cracked this one for me because i was thinking i got i have quite a large roman empire army and these are mine and these are pillums and this pillum for example is done the same way as is that one and they look a bit fragile this is compared to the metal one and obviously these are aventine figures very nice and that's a very fancy pillum it's got the bolts and all kinds of stuff in it it's very nice uh this is a simplified version done and the trick here is because you want the thicker handle you get your thicker one and then you get your thinner one and i tend to try and make a little mark or stab a pin or something just to help you but the tricky bit and i have to say this isn't very easy to do is to stick end to end and the slight difference in diameter and a trick to get the effect you want if you can see on this is quite good no just stuck these in there they need tidying up if you see there there's a kind of bulge of the metal or there or there and all that is, is i put a bit of a blob of super glue <laughs> so it helps helps the process of sticking it on and you end up with a bit of a blob and then the usual thing squeeze the end of this and put a point on it and you can replace your pillums or even use them if you prefer them because they're pretty solid and they stay on all right so um there was one other thing i was going to show no i think i'm almost covers it obviously for cavalry you can do the same thing here's a couple of normans i've done Oop. and dunk, 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 dunk. Um, they haven't come off yet and they take paint really well i could do a separate video if you want me to on um, how to paint them because one of the things i always try and do is spears all of these spears let's get uh, like these for example 
is there's a slight, if you look closely, there's a slight grain in there. And that just destroy. it, it gets rid of this feeling of it being um, a solid tube or whatever, you know. I can do the same with the metal ones and the plastic ones. It just gives a difference. Let's go a slightly exaggerated one here, just to make the point. Uh, like these guys. There's that slight striping effect. Yeah. Anyway, okay, enough of me waffling on. That's basically it. I have to say, since I started doing this a while ago, I absolutely love these kind of uh, spears. And I've gradually been going through my whole figure collection, redoing them. You know, everyone who's got a spear or a javelin has now got one of these, and it makes life so much easier. They stop popping out. You know, you can pick them up and not worry about pinging off spears and lances. The paint doesn't come off. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's like a miracle. And I've got a few other things I can share with you. If people are interested, give me some feedback on this one. Like these banners, they're also made for free. Of course, they're on the brush spears. I've got a few of those things to do. Some painting tips like these, for example. How I make the spears look really shiny, even across the table. They really stand out, and there's no metallic paints used on there. Some of the fantasy figure paints techniques. But I'm sure if you do fantasy, you'll know about like non-metallic metal on the armour on these guys. To make the helmets kind of look shiny and that kind of thing. Anyway, lots of ideas there. So um, I'm interested to see what kind of feedback we get. I'm not just going to churn out anyone's. It's just going to be things that I do. Little freebies like paint pots, keep your paints lasting. All those things I've picked up through basically painting about seven or eight hours a day for many, many years. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know. As we fade out to the music, I'm going to put a gallery up of some of the figures done using these spears so you can get a closer look and uh, get some more ideas. And if you've got some ideas on how I can take this idea even further, please let me know. So until the next time, keep rolling. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to run through some of the options you normally get. And these are the kind of... Oops.